Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about, hmm, loofah. Now, I was hoping to have one of the actual products to show you physically. Unfortunately, um, the initial product is impossible to get around where I live. It is tropical. And I do definitely do not live in a tropical environment. Um, <coughs> the other item I wanted to show you, I forgot to pick up when I was out at the store the other day, and I only remembered after I got home. Yeah, so smart. So we're going to have to settle for images on the screen. And so anyway, if you haven't already known, a lot of people are saying that loofah is actually an unsafe item for guinea pigs. So I'm here to debunk this theory for everyone. And I want you to know that if you're one of the ones that's saying that loofah is not a safe product for guinea pigs, you are correct, but you are also incorrect. Now you're probably thinking Girl, what on earth are you talking about? You're not making any sense. How can I be right and wrong at the same time? Okay, so this is where debunking is going to come into play. Now let's back up the train. If you didn't already know, Lufa, spelled spell two different ways. The traditional way is L-O-O-F-A-H. But the more appropriate common way is L-U-F-F-A. So, that is actually, believe it or not, a vegetable. Lufa derives from a vegetable that grows on a vine and it adores tropical environments. Which is probably why for North America it is extremely uncommon. Now a lot of the loofah that you do see around are chew toys that can be inappropriate for guinea pigs. You will also find shower poofs that are made of or from loofah. Now, let's debunk this theory because natural loofah is a safe item to use. You can use it to clean your guinea pig cage. You can use it for many different things. Do you want your guinea pig consuming a mature loofah vegetable? That you do not. And the reason why is because it's made like a sponge. So when you add moisture to it, it will slowly expand. And if your guinea pig consumes that, there is a risk of internal blockage happening. However, I will still tell you, Lufa is safe for consumption. And now you're even more confused. Am I right? You're more confused now. I'm telling you not to feed it, but now I'm telling you you can. Here's why. If you are living in a tropical environment and you can grow lufa on the vines, an immature plant that is no more than one to two inches big, about this big, maybe that big, that size is edible and Humans can, can consume it, and so can guinea pigs. You do not want to feed a mature lufa. Immature, safe. Mature, not safe. Because the bigger the, the vegetable grows, the bigger it expands. The more it expands, and the more moisture that will hit it, it can cause problems. Now, the interesting thing is, so I've been watching YouTube videos 
on how loofah sponges are made. Now, that's how loofah sponges are made. And a lot of it involves removing the seeds, which is a natural thing you would want to do regardless of whether you fed it or not. You want to remove the seeds, but you to make a loofah sponge, they pretty much cut the whole thing, remove the seeds, and then they dry the whole thing. They basically dehydrate it. So I'm not sure what would happen if you were to feed a fresh loofah vegetable that's mature and not dehydrated, like just with the natural moistures in it. I'm not sure what would happen or what could happen. I just know that a lot of the product you see on the shelf that are made of loofah, that those colorful ones, um, we don't know if they're made with pet safe dyes. We don't know if it's a synthetic material or if it's natural from the actual vegetable. So it is safe to not feed or allow your pet to chew on the loofah chews that you find in stores. But again, if you can grow your own loofah, the immature plant that's one to two inches big, that is safe for consumption. Now, I'm not saying go and do it. I'm saying you could. It is up to you to do further research and to find out whether it is safe or unsafe. I'm telling you the findings that I have discovered, but it's up to you to continue the research. So again, when you go to stores and you find the shower poofs or the loofahs as some people call it, those are man-made synthetic materials that you do not want your guinea pig to consume. The guinea pig chews that are made of loofah, we don't know if they are natural loofah or if they are from the vegetable. So it's best to not feed that. But if you if you live in an environment that you can grow your own natural loofah, then it's up to you if you want to feed that or not. But I kind of just wanted to debunk the theory for you that all this debatable talk of whether Rufa is safe or not safe, we're all correct and we're all wrong. Because a lot of people, I can promise you, did not know that Rufa actually derives from a vegetable plant that grows on a vine. And I thought it was extremely unique and interesting to learn that. So I want to share that information with you. I just unfortunately wish I had the actual physical products to show you. And I know I'm talking a lot with my hands. I am sorry, but deal with it. <laughs> um, so that being said, um, I do suggest that if you are going to experiment with feeding loofah chews to your guinea pig, just like any toy or any item that's new, you need to supervise your pet with the new item, ensure that they are not eating the item. Chewing on it or chewing it and just breaking it apart is okay, but you don't want them eating it. So, I hope this information was interesting for you. Uh, I hope you learned something new. And if you want to see more videos like this, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, click the notification bell because that way you won't miss out on any for further future content. All right, until next time, everyone. Bye-bye.